Hi, I'm Kiwi, that there is Bear, and collectively we're known as Oshala Japan. Our mission is to share Japan with the world, and today we're unleashing our inner artists in the home of Japan's iconic mythical mischief maker. Konnichiwa! So while you might know them better as Tom Nook from Animal Crossing or from the Mario game franchise, in addition to being real life animals, Tanuki are also considered Japanese yokai or mythical creatures, as well as a good luck charm. Today, we have come to Tanuki Mura in Shiga Prefecture, where the number of Tanuki figures outnumbers the number of town residents. And we can also make our very own Tanuki figurines. So let's go. <laughs> so apparently, that, I think, is the biggest tanuki in all of Japan. <laughs> yeah. Caught, Five. Yeah. Five meters. It's crazy. Alright, and some ninja. Oh, yeah. So this area is also famous for ninja, right? Yeah. So in Tanuki Mura or Tanuki Village, we can make our own tanuki as well as painting it. If you want to make your own, then I think it takes up to two or three months and then they need to send it to your house. So we decided today we're just going to make it nice and colorful like those ones. They're caught. What? Yeah? What the fuck? Ten, 10 meters? His pee pee is near your head. <laughs> yeah, what? It's got a bigger belly than my New Year one. <laughs> we have an appointment to paint our tanuki at 12 o'clock, so we gotta get going inside. Mm. So, try and get some inspiration, last minute inspiration. How do you want it to look? Uh, I guess that. So that's kind of like the standard, right? That colour, yeah. I think. Tanashi. <laughs> okay, okay. So, light colour face. This one's cute. I like this one. Light coloured face, dark coloured skin. Okay, go. Eh? Huh? Ooh! Even more outside. Eh? <laughs> it really is a Tanuki village. <laughs> You can even sit down. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can sit down. So, where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, so they also have a restaurant here too. How weird. <laughs> so much everywhere. Look at these ones. <laughs> Yankee lady. <idea. laughs> that helmet. So, here. So I'm already in my overalls, ready to get messy. <laughs> Ah, oh, go, 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 go. Ah. Oh no, so I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up. Right? It's very easy to mess up. Chicken buckle. So, like coin bank, right? Piggy mm. bank. Oh, they have a ninja one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or ninja shop. Neki Neko. Okay. These ones are cute though. Cute one. Okay, yeah, this one. With the dirty bum. This is ninja. Ninja. Oh, ninja. Chicken buckle. I'm gonna do ninja. Okay. So, I chose this. <laughs> A little bit dirty, but oh well. So be careful, don't use the black first or nothing will show up. <laughs> so it's this color. Yeah. So don't forget, in that order, from there. Okay. I'm nervous. Right. I'm, like, I'm so scared I'm going to mess it up. But like, either way, this is exciting. We like never do this kind of thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> little tanuki sound. So apparently, he is holding some sake, he's got a big belly, he's got big balls, a lucky hat, and he has eight magical powers, which I will go into at some point later, but let's start painting. What do you want to do? I guess I'm going to start with... But the yellow is so yellow. Right? I didn't expect it to be so bright. I'm going to be orange. For what? Ninja is orange. Oh, it's not really. That's supposed to be like hard to see, right? Yeah. I'm sure she's... <laughs> Maybe I'll just go traditional. 
Okay. I'm a bit scared to go against the green. I'm not that trendy. I'm not that all shadow. Okay. Fast strokes. I don't want to mess it up. No going back if you do. So this town is really famous for its pottery. So all around this area you'll see little tiny few figurines and some very big ones too. Something interesting that I found out is that after World War II they employed disabled people to basically make pottery. So they wanted to give them jobs and make sure that they had a key role in society. So nice ethical place to come I think. Okay, but we see it. Yeah, but they say that when you fire it, it comes out darker. So don't go too crazy. Okay. <laughs> First part finished. Are you right? I'm nervous. This is not a good one. It's like stressful for a perfectionist. Okay, so his hat should be yellow, brown. Don't need to be perfect. I know, but I... Your steps. <laughs> Do your steps. Okay, let's make it cute. They seem to like something on the back. So they give you examples. So this guy with a little necktie is cute. He looks a bit out of it though. But how do I look at the back of it? Look how pretty that is. Maybe I should do something like that. Maybe I should do Fuji on the back. Something off shadow. Oh, you get odd. Right? Original style. God, my hands are too cold for this. <laughs> Got a black eye. I messed up the back horribly, but so rough for me. I think the more I do, the more I hate it. I was imagining Naruto, but not at all. It's pretty good though. You got the colors right. Alright, final finishing touch. The thing that I know I'm gonna mess up and I've been avoiding this entire time. What's that shit? Me? Yeah. See my eye. It's hard, right? These like paintbrushes aren't detailed enough, not tiny enough. Oh my god, I'm actually like scared. How can I make it look cute? Maybe I should give it like big anime eyes. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, that's what I'll do. Maybe. Okay, that was easier said than done. I don't think they're supposed to have big eyes like this, are they? Oh, it has it now. It's cute, it's cute right? Kawaii, like anime eyes. Do you go? Ah, the light. Yeah. I see. Uh, pun intended. Ah, mascot, eh? If you think that, it's really nice. What, if you don't think it is not? I thought, eh? Like, it has a hole in it. You get to say it's a hole. Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to have cute eyes, but... Oh, well. This has. Well, it looks kind of weird, but... Yes. Oh yeah. Mm. Little tanicky friend. Oh. I've no idea how that's gonna turn out, but we done. So simple though. I hope it turns out okay. Thanks. What are you doing? Yeah, much much more. Who's the machine now? Top. Ine. Kakoi. I like the grass. Yeah, I can't wait to see how they turn out. Just let me do it. I could kind of fit it in. I'll shut it. <laughs> kind of. Come out of there. Eight. Hachi. So eight. So they have eight different powers based on all of the different things. This is good. 
Well, since we can't have it in our van. And anime eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta heat up my hands now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go yeah, get them fired. Yeah, come on, It's gonna take two months. So we're getting it delivered after all. Yeah. So. Jenna. See you soon. Nice and shiny. <laughs> Let's go check out the real stuff. So it turns out that it's actually really popular and also it's snowy again so my hair and mascara are melting. So you just pour the heat up, heat up. It's so cold. I forget that using our hands like that makes you freezing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I think it's about four degrees outside today. I think it was about minus two inside. And it's so cold. So I think they have to keep the place cold because uh, otherwise it probably messes with the clay or something. But could have really done with the heater in there, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> so warmer, so now we get to walk around the Taniki Mura, Taniki village. So apparently in the 50s when the Showa Emperor came to visit this area of Shigaraki in Shiga, because there are such few people here, they were worried that there weren't going to be enough people to meet him and greet him. So they created loads and loads of Taniki, waving a little Japanese flag and apparently he enjoyed it so much that he wrote a poem about it or said a poem or something, but doesn't sound real, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. So a little So apparently the frog is supposed to be a good luck charm too. Ooh, even like a little Taniki shrine. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Like an actual bear. What? Have you ever seen a Taniki in real life? Yeah. A lot. So they're quite common, I guess. For any British viewers, they're kind of akin to, I guess, foxes. Like they're kind of out and about at night. But these tanuki are kind of special mythical ones that are supposed to play tricks on people. And if you're a fan of Studio Ghibli, then maybe you've seen, is it Pompoko? If you hit a tanuki's stomach, apparently it says Pompoko, or it makes that noise. And they turn into humans and create lots of mischief. Ah, so maybe I should have painted it black. Oh well. Oh well, Two your style. Regrets. Fine, there's a minor from the floor, right? Right, so a whole load of unique ones. So we are back outside in the cold. It's now stopped snowing a little behind us. Maybe you can see the big old tanuki. Yeah. So it turns out that I was wrong. Even though we just painted today, we still have to wait about a month or yeah, two. At least one month. Yeah, so glazing it itself takes around two or three days and then they have to send it. If you want to make it using the shigaraki clay, which is really famous around here because of all the pottery, mm. it takes even longer. But hopefully we'll be able to show you the end yeah. result at some Maybe point. Two months later? Yep. Three months? Not sure. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed a mini tour of the Tanuki Mura village. Yeah. And yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've done anything creative like this. So <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed us painting at least. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>